Hello YouTube and welcome to Bristol, site to race number three of the NRSL Reebok Truck Series. And on the pole today is Joshua Osborne, driver of truck number zero, who will come into this race 28th in the points. Granted, this series doesn't really matter about where you are on points right now. James Shelley will start alongside the all-time winningest driver in the Reebok Truck Series. Kev Shearer headlines the... Uh, factory drivers, he'll start in row number two alongside Delon Abrahamian. Johnny Gardner and Kyle Matthews make up row number three. Can't go much worse for Kyle this race. Heck, 39th or better constitutes his season best finish. <coughs> Sky Commons and Jack James make up row number four with Jonathan Zorline and Jessica Shelton in row number five. Here's the rest of your starting grid. Chris Louvier, the SRT Motorsports factory driver. Uh, for Dodge, comes in as the points leader over Chevy's factory driver, Max Anderson. Uh, Tim Randolph, another one of the Chevy factory drivers, is third in points, with Kev Shear, Toyota factory driver, in fourth. Amanda Shelley, the top of the independents, I guess, if you want to call him that, in fifth. Elijah Gilbert, John Irvin, James Qualls, Joshua Hyatt, last week's winner, and William Brock round out the top ten. As you see the final row, RJ Reynolds, the, one of the other Toyota factory drivers, and Trevor Germain. Uh, we'll get the command here shortly, and then we'll run through the onboards. We won't actually take you on board with them just yet. Drivers, start your engines! Actually, I'm going to try. So, starting off with the Ford onboard, yes, Binky Louvier. Tim Randolph will can carry the Canada onboard in car 68. Chris Louvier, the Dodge onboard. Max Anderson, the Chevy on board. Kev Shear, the Toyota on board. Elijah Gilbert, Napa on board. John Irvin, the Menards on board. And Joshua Hyatt, the Good Sam on board. Already three wide back here. I saw that, and that didn't take long. Tim Randolph, Tom Shelley, and Samet Oscon. Lap one. Joshua Osborne gets away, and he leads under the caution. So, we didn't even get a lap in. Actually, we didn't even get a corner in. Uh, looking to make sure that they don't stack up. I think we're good, and I'm kind of curious how they got to be three wide going into that first corner as Tim Randolph goes to the pit lane. Might be an early end to their night. Third in points coming in. Uh, no, they're going to try and fix it. Let's take you back to see what happened. And we're back. I just kind of wanted to see what happened here on the pace lap, and there you go. Sabrina Rogers. Gets out of line in truck number one. And then they just kind of go green this way. You see Trevor Germain gets in on the action there. And as they go down to turn number one, this just does not work. Sabrina Rogers gets up into the 68. And a hard hit for Randolph. Tom Shelley with a lot of front end damage. And you see Samet Ozcon right there. And I can't believe I'm going to say this, but we're going to take an onboard with Binky Louvier to see what she saw going through this wreck. Onboard the 69.
And we are back. Tim Randolph, the only retiree, and that's going to be a big hit. They were third in the points coming in. Uh, so that's going to be their first DNF of the year in the 68 truck. So we'll have to see how that impacts them. Joshua Osborne, Delon Ebrahimian, Johnny Gardner, James Shelley, Kev Shear, Jack James, Kyle Matthews, Jessica Shelton, Sky Commons, Seth Cole, the top ten. Zorline Deaver, Faith Rollins, Chris Slubier, Alexander Rowe, James Qualls, Amanda Shelley, Alger Baranowskis, Zach Flickinger, and Card Pollard make up the top 20. And a single file restart. Hopefully that means we can actually get a lap in. Green flag's back out. We're underway once again. Looks a little bit better back here now this time. No one's out of line. Looks like Sky Commons was going to be the first one to try and make a move. He didn't quite get there, though. He was trying to go inside of the 84 truck. Didn't quite get there. Caution flag flies once again. Going to have to try and check, make sure that they don't stack up. And they are good back there. Aldra Baranowskis in the 17 truck looks to have been involved. And Tom Shelley was behind it. I don't know if he got another piece of one. Let's go ahead and take a look back at what happened. And we are back. Here's what happened. Zach Flickinger in truck number 9 is going to turn the 17 off of turn number 2. And it's gonna, that's actually going to be it for his spin. Zach Flickinger gets turned by Sam Young, and then his truck just gets sent all sorts of sideways. And I think he's actually the one that's going to bring out the caution. Yep, there you see it right there. Trevor Germain going to get a piece of it. So does the 18. Binky Luvier gets a piece of it. And then Paranowski gets to add insult to injury. Comes in and hits the 9 truck as well. And with that, let's go ahead and take you back to the restart, I believe. Because I don't think there was anyone in there that I saw right away. So we're just going to go back to the restart. And we are back. Er Alger Baranowski, Zach Flickinger both retired after that wreck. Dylan Ebrahimian is now the leader. Joshua Osborne, Johnny Gardner, James Shelley, Kev Shear, Jack James, Kyle Matthews, Jessica Shelton, Sky Commons, Seth Cole, Jonathan Zorline, Cole Deaver, Faith Rollins, Chris Luvier, Alexander Rowe, James Qualls, Amanda Shelley, Card Pollard, Sam Young, and Joshua Hyatt, the top 20. Max Anderson, Stephen Paul III, John Irvin, Buffalo Zacco, Elijah Gilbert, Alex Perkle, Preston Plord, Steve Pollard, Dylan Young, Chris Wilson, top 30. And just to show you the rest of the field, we'll go through it this way. And already, Joshua Osborne making a move for the race lead, not able to get there just yet. The battle is for third. James Shelley, Johnny Gardner trying to go at it. Meanwhile, though, Jessica Shelton, Kyle Matthews are battling for the seventh position. We made a green flag lap, everyone. Only took us three tries. Kev Shear on that outside line right now. Jack James was trying to get there, not quite able to do so. Now Kyle Matthews going to make a move back on the 84 truck. As the battle is on for seventh here, Kyle Matthews grabs that spot back now. And Johnny Gardner is going for second on Delon Ebrahimian as... Uh, Joshua Osborne now has gone back to the race lead. Caution flag flies once again. As it's for Steve Pollard in truck 57. And he has hit the wall hard. You see the black smoke there. That is going to be the end to the Norm Benning night. Looks like he... Buffoed Sacco is missing the front end. We might have had trucks go airborne. I see Alex Perkle with damage on pit lane. So it looks like a three truck incident. We might have had air time here as Tom Shelley's got even more damage. Let's take a look back at what happened. And we are back. Here's where this one starts. Tom Shelley was just coming out of the pit lane. And right there is Steve Pollard. This isn't going to be an actual LePage, but close to it. There you see Alex Perkle. He gets involved. There's Steve Pollard getting the wall. Vince Almorego, there's Buffoed Sacco with his damage. Binky Olivier gets another one. Trevor Germain gets into one again. William Brock, the 18, sends the 06 around. Just very hazardous to be at the back of the field tonight so far, as proven once again, Joshua Osborne is the race leader. Let's go back to the green flag. And we are 
back. Alex Perkel retiring because they could not get fuel into the truck. Steve Pollard, Bafot Sacco, and Tom Shelley all retiring also due to the incident. Joshua Osborne is the leader. Delon Ebrahimian, Johnny Gardner, James Shelley, Kev Shear, Jack James, Kyle Matthews, Jessica Shelton, Seth Cole, Jonathan Zorlin, top 10. Sky Commons, Cole Deaver, Chris Luvier, Faith Rollins, James Qualls, Alexander Rowe, Card Pollard, Joshua Hyatt, Stephen Paul III, and Amanda Shelley, the top 20. As we get ready for the restart there, two-fifths of the way through, 20 laps complete here at Bristol. By the way, not mentioned yet, but the race sponsor, the Where's the Caveman 256. I'll give you a guess as to who sponsored this race. Either way, battle for the race lead. Delon Ebrahimian inside of Joshua Osborne. He'll grab the lead as they go through turn number one. And James Shelley will grab third away as Jessica Shelton has grabbed seventh away from Kyle Matthews. Johnny Gardner comes back around on the outside. Now Shelley, as Seth Cole now tries to grab eighth away from the 52 truck. A little bit of contact there between the double zero and the two. Jessica Shelton now makes the move inside for, of the 13. That's for sixth position now if she can grab that spot. That might be a tough position to grab there. Actually, we'll do so pretty easily there. So we start to get a green flag run going. Delon Ebrahimian has checked out now to a decent advantage. As Shelton now tries to close back in on the two, but here comes Jack James back at the 84 truck. Going to have that inside line for turn number one. That's been where the inside line's actually had some decent pace. And Jack James grabs that spot back as Kyle Matthews continues to fall back through the field now. Just hasn't been able to get the heat in those tires or something this run as he has fallen back to the 10th position now. Finally uh, gets clear. Meanwhile, Johnny Gardner going to be holding up the field a little bit there in the 5th position. And Kev Shear starts to close in on the third spot now in that double zero. Meanwhile, we're going to try and check in on this. Looks like William Brock just coming off turn number four. Ebrahimian just going into three. We'll have to see if they can encounter the lot trucks or not, at, and if so, at what point. Kev Shear now going for third. We, stare, we are still green, I should say, is what I'm, or at least was what I'm trying to say there. Shear now makes the move for third. Going into turn number three, going to get on that bottom line, which is basically cursed almost, is what I would say. You really can't get down there, as Shelton now once again tried to make the move on the 13. Was not able to get there through one and two. Gets there on the exit of turn number two, somewhat. Had to give the spot back. But has that inside line at least. That's what she's trying to protect there from Seth Cole as he starts to catch up to these two. Shelton going to need to try and make this move in a hurry and hope that the th 22 can keep the 13 busy for a little bit. And Shelton will make the pass here for the sixth position. Jack James going to get held up on that outside line. Seth Cole not able to get there just yet. Meanwhile, Gardner has fallen, or not, no, not fallen. He's caught back up to this battle for third is what I should say. Uh, meanwhile, Delon Ebrahimian has checked out to a one-second lead. Kev Shear going to take another crack at this. This is the battle for third. Basically the best battle on track. Let's check in with the lap trucks, maybe. Not quite there yet. So we stay tuned to this battle. As Shelton now starts to catch up to them. Left that bottom line a little bit more open than I think she would have liked to. Didn't cost her anything entirely out of track position, at least, in terms of positioning. But it might in a couple laps if she's not careful, as here comes Jack James once again. Shuts off that door one more time. Johnny Gardner now trying to catch back up, as here comes Seth Cole. That's going to be just what Jessica Shelton needed to be able to get away from the 13. As Seth Cole moves up to the 7th position, Sky Commons follows through in the SRT Motorsports entry. Basically the top running of those cars and Shelly has been able to get away from the double zero as the two of Johnny Gardner started to battle the double zero. Now as I think, 
Well, I was going to say, I thought Shelton was going to start battling the two truck there for a moment. That was going to open the door there for Kev to get away. Didn't quite. As problems for RJ Reynolds has fallen a lap down, three laps down actually. So problems for the TRD Motorsports entry as William Brock went a lap down. We've got a battle for the lead once again. As Ebrahimian now starts to catch up to the tail end of the field. Now trying to lap the 66. But the Blue Oval Racing Ford factory ride is not giving the Chevy any room. And that's going to allow Osborne to try and make a move. There's a couple of Fords battling. They're battling for position. So not only just trying to stay on the lap, but they are battling for position. They're the 66 and the 69 truck. As here comes Osborne now to the inside. And we've got a new leader once again with 11 laps to go. Joshua Osborne back to the race lead. As James Shelley's going to start trying to throw his name into the hat here. Now Ebrahimian's going to try and go back to the race lead. Will do so. RJ Reynolds now the Toyota with possibly some fresh tires here. Following the battle back there, Sky Commons has passed Seth Cole for 7th spot right now. Oh, a little bit of contact there with the 66 and the 32. Here comes RJ Reynolds now. Now Ebrahimian gets to the inside of the 69 truck of Binky Louvier. Lisa's still trying to. Not able to do so right now. So the lap traffic proving to be hinder some here I don't think I think that's the word I was going for they're certainly being a bother I'll put it that way as James Shelley now has thrown his name into the mix he's gotten second away from Osborne now the 32 has cleared the 69 truck RJ Reynolds kind of gets out of that battle as well Binky Louvier should try and throw her get out of the mess there she's now a lap truck so no point trying to battle the lead lap cars and is, she is doing so. She got out of the way for James Shelley. Gets out of the way for Osborne. Now Kev Shear gets to the inside of the 69 truck. Meanwhile, Shelton's going to try and use this to, his, to her advantage. She gets inside of Johnny Gardner and is going to use the 69 truck as a pick. So moves Shelton now into fifth in truck 84. Coming off a lousy run in Atlanta having the gearbox failure. So, great job there for Shelton. Gets fifth away from Johnny Gardner. Meanwhile, just a handful of laps to go, and Delon Ebrahimian now catches back up to the 66 truck. So, right now, it's Ebrahimian, Shelley, Osborne, Cheer, and Shelton, the top five. And the battle is for six between Gardner and Sky Commons. Kyle Matthews still up here in the top ten right now in what is a spectacular run considering the rest of his season so far. Shelton now clears the 69 truck of Binky Louvier and Ebrahimian finally laps the 66 truck as he'll see the white flag this time by in what was probably a little bit less fantastic of a Bristol finish than we would have probably liked. Oh well, we'll work on that. Through turns three and four for the final time, it'll be the Duraline Chevy. Delon Ebrahimian will pick up his first career truck series win, and it comes at Bristol. That was perfect timing right there. Holy crap. Couldn't have timed that better had I tried. Delon Ebrahimian, though, will grab the checkered flag. Uh, rest of the top ten, James Shelley, Joshua Osborne, Kev Shear, Jessica Shelton, Johnny Gardner, Sky Commons, Kyle Matthews, Seth Cole, and Cole Deaver, the top ten. So a couple drivers there picking up their first top ten of the year, being Kyle Matthews, Cole Deaver. Um, early assumption here. This is just an assumption, so I could be wrong. 
Early assumption, Kev Shear should be the points leader here, leaving Bristol after three races. Um, he definitely, at the very least, he had the best run out of the top five in points coming in. Um, this is going to be the first race all season that Chris Luvier does not finish in the top ten, let alone also the top five. Um, and a look at the bottom of the field. R.J. Reynolds had brake issues, had to retire from the race apparently early. I don't know for what reason. I thought he took the checkered flag. But brake issues apparently were what was going on with the 09. That's why they were three laps down. Um, William Brock, one lap down. Binky Olivier, Vince Almarego, one lap down as well. 31 lead lap trucks tonight. And the win goes to the number 32 for Turner Motorsports. Congrats to Abrahemian. Two more races this weekend. I'd like to thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't today. I'll see you next time.